What's up everybody? Uh, what are we, hour 6.5, should be 6.9, but 6.5 of the helicopter uh, lessons here, waiting for the instructor. Another windy day, uh, 020 at 14. Uh, it was uh, gusting earlier, uh, but the forecast right now is uh, winds out of the north northeast at uh, 14 knots. So, uh, might be challenging, although yesterday, you know, the first flight was windy and the second flight was not. And I actually think I did better in the wind than I did without. So we'll see how it goes uh, today. Uh, I don't know what specifically we're working on, but I'm hoping just basic stuff. Um, you know, auto rotations, trying to get better at just normal movements of the helicopter, uh, you know, lateral flight, backwards flight pedal turns all the basic stuff because it's still a challenge you know it's not the same as flying fighters or flying fast jets or anything like that so it takes a lot to get used to but uh you know hopefully it's a uh, much better uh day as we as we progress so it's you know, 20 something hours left so anyway i uh, hope you enjoy this episode thanks for watching Oscar one three Oscar now. Zulu. Wind zero five zero at one five. This is for this. Zero. Visibility one zero. Sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature two six two point one seven. Altimeter three zero one seven. Visual approaches are in use. Landing into particle runway three six left. Notice airmen. Multiple frames two hundred feet and below. One nautical mile southwest in the field. Use caution for bird activity. Read back all runway hold short and crossing instructions. Lakefront tower hours of operation are from 0800 until 1600 local until further notice. Advise and contact you for information November. November. Hang on. Oh. Lakefront airport information Oscar 1393 yep. Zulu. Win. <laughs> we have Oscar November. Oscar that November. Okay, okay. that's what we're going to call it. We got Oscar November. Lakefront Tower, Helicopter 178 Sierra Hotel. We're at the T-Hangers. I'd like to proceed to Echo to do some work, and then we'll do a VFR departure to the west to St. John with flight following, and we've got Oscar November. 178 Sierra Hotel, roger. Position, uh, reposition over to taxiway Echo, and I'll have a code for you in just a minute. Okay, reposition to taxiway Echo. We'll wait for the code, uh, 8 Sierra Hotel. Y'all do realize you got Oscar November on the Aegis, right? I was not aware, but I will fix it. <laughs> not a problem. Just trying to figure which one. All right. Three green. Opportunity. OWCs. Clear right. Clear up. Clear aft. Okay. That's going to be different other than you might get pushed a little bit forward. So a little aft? You might get pushed a little bit forward. So yeah, a little aft, bit aft. aft right. Okay. Pedal. You gotta get that left pedal in, left side. Right, hold it right here for a second. Alright, now you can pull it a little bit. Just keep on the pedals. It'll try to turn around so you undo it. And once we get over there, we'll actually turn around. Push through. Oh yeah, keep going the weather vane. Right, interesting. So nothing's different other than you'd be doing a little bit of a dance, right? And it's zero to what altitude did you want going? Thousand. Thousand feet for zero to. Turn around. Not easy. Keep coming. Take it in there. There you go. Hey, zero tell squawk code will be 0473 and departure 133.15. 0473 133.5 American Tower. Hey, zero hotel. <laughs> yeah, Lake Ridge Tower, 520 Chrome. He's looking to make another short approach. Zero Chrome, make short approach. 36 right, clear for the option. Okay, look at the waves. Yeah, three ones, the option. 520 Chrome, yeah. Alright, look at it, we've got about three quarters of a bag of fuel, but we're only using, uh, what, 22 inches right now, just yeah. to give you an idea what the wind will do for you. Yeah. Actually, this is not bad flying weather. Let's, uh, give me a side step, watch those lights, all the way to the Echo, I mean, the Delta, just like this. Watch those lights. Yep. Which are out. Back. You start to go down, no. You start to go down, you got to pull that collective, right? Yep. Because you don't want to go down sideways. You like that. That's it, we're just doing a little dams. I know you damn up. T-38 can't do this. No. Just like that, nice and smooth. All right, right to the middle of the intersection. Get us down a little bit. 
Fly forward, back and sideways. Circles. All right, right here. Okay. Let's see how good those dancing feet are, all right? All right. You know you got about 15, 16 knots. Just got to come in quick with the pedal. So you're going to start with right or left and get the opposite pedal in most of the turn, okay? Okay. All right. Good. Which way you want to go, right or left? Right. All right. Start the left now. Now. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little bit different now. So ease it around. Get it in, get it in quick, get it in quick, get it in quick, pull back, because the wind's going to be blowing that way, so you pull back when you're cycling. Nice and smooth, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. It's like touch, you can take it out, touch and take it out, touch and take it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, right there. Yeah, all right, now the other way's going to be a little bit different, so go ahead. Same thing, opposite battle's going to make this turn. Get it in quick. Go ahead, get started. Get it in, 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 pull back, pull back, pull back. Go ahead and start it again. Obviously, the very finesse maneuver, keep coming. It was good with no rim, but it takes a little bit more, but actually it wasn't going too bad. Hey. I uh, wanted to give you an idea how different it is. That's about 15 knots, obviously, you yeah. know, you get it down to about 12 and it'd be a little more appropriate. Lake Ron Tower, it's at 65447. Ah, it's it's on, it's established on DOR, DV for 36 left. 65447, Lake Ron Tower, 36 left. Oh, you're the only thing that's going is pushing back a little bit. You're already in transit. He wants to fly. Yeah. Call the antipodes in. All right, let him know uh, the uh, part of the east, uh, southbound turn, will be out here. At 8 southbound turn, back to the west. Zero Tilo, thanks for echo clear for takeoff, proceed on course. Traffic is uh, crosswind turned to downwind, Cessna in the pattern. Clear for takeoff, looking for the traffic, we're on course, Eight zero Tilo. Oh, big top of T. All right, I'm cowboy. Yep. The rest of it shouldn't be too much. Now, when you turn, obviously, you're going to be dancing a little bit more in the pedals. It shouldn't affect it. Your slipstream is going to keep the tail behind All right, traffic 12 o'clock. I'm going to start the turn just to keep us over the land and get us away from that guy. That'll work. Lake Rock Tower, I'd like to get a on the rail. I'll request a short approach. And he's turning right into it. Uh, we'll stay low. Lake Bring around. Make sure approach 36 right clear to the option traffic. Uh, just below and to your right is a helicopter making a turn out to the west. 3-6 right, uh, clear for short option now, uh, at um, traffic in sight. Hey, Terry, we're just going to go right off the end of the runway, and uh, we're going to hit the shore line and head out. Get out your way. There you go. We can stay at 500 for right now. Yeah, I was going to stay at 500 until we talked hey, to him. 8 hotel, contact New Orleans Tower, 119.5, safe flight. 1985, 8 0 hotel. That's old Punch Train Beach right there. You ever heard of it before? We're about 10 to the east, right? From northeast? Oh, from Lake uh, from Tower. Yeah, 12 miles apart, so it's yeah, covers. New Orleans Tower, helicopter 178 Sierra Hotel. We're uh, 10 miles to the northeast, went to transit to the Bravo, going westbound to St. John with my calling. Three zero zero, the wrong star. I bet the wrong jump. So there's three zero one seven. Three zero one seven with the flash. Eight zero zero. Eight zero zero radar contact two miles west of the lakefront airport. Clipping run for our SF four one thousand five six. Uh, just be advised, your radios are coming in uh, very weak. Okay, we're clear to the Bravo below one thousand five hundred. Copy the radios. We'll try to work it. Probably because we're low. Drive now. No. Ask them now. Tower, each every hotel out of here right now. Very good, so that's much better now. Thank you. Radio 2, COM yeah. 2. Is it a different antenna, like on the bottom? I or? don't know. Uh, but they have a trouble with COM 1, but COM 2 they pick up just fine. Usually, I think this is where the. Uh, what? Oh, is this? We just follow the corridor here. But the corridor with the altitude. Ground to 1,000, 2,000, to 7,000. Well, uh, that's the clearances. We already cleared it in the Bravo. We just yeah. got to exit if we wanted, but we yeah. can hang on to... I'll just stay the shoreline. We'll just stay the shoreline. Ah, let's... 
I cross it when we get close to the uh, runway. But like I said, once you get, you can see where it ends at. Once that happens and you got the spillway, there's nothing really there. I mean, we can follow the levee all the way into uh, I-10 or even the 61. But uh, whatever works. Actually, I shot the ILS in a helicopter last week. Well, let me just ask if we go through the corridor at 1,000 feet. That would be sure. Easy. Head tower, ATR hotel, in case we can get the uh, corridor at 1,000 feet over the airport. There is a proof. ATR hotel, thanks. If they ain't got nothing going, they don't have a problem with it. The only trouble is, your oh shit spots yeah, a lot of dried up. Yeah, you have some. I mean, you've got top of buildings that need be or whatever. Just reduce top of teeth. WC's around, fuel's good, carb's good. We're going to go back in on the carb heat a little bit. I'd keep it up about maybe a, yeah, a quarter inch. Yeah. And that way it'll stay right out of the yellow. We got one, two, three, There's four. There's nobody there. Good lord. Four. Yeah. There's nobody. That's I've never seen that. I mean, I guess it's been worse. This is the first time I've been over here since the yep. Corona. Like an old, uh, what is that, a United paint game? The United. Alaska. South Santa Cruz. No American. No, that's an EMB 175. That's it's three seven threes and a 175 regional. that all the jet fuel that they use out of this is actually piped in from Narco. Is it really? I didn't know That's that. That's the refiner right there. You never see, because you know how many fuel trucks you'd see coming down oh, 61? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it actually has a 24-inch main that comes all the way to the fuel farm. Oh, man. That thing breaks. You're in trouble. Yeah. All right, which way you want to go? You want to go I-10, you want to go 61? Uh, let's go 61. All right, whenever you want to make the turn. At Tower Hotel. We're going to leave the corridor and go uh, 61 west. Okay, we're here at the Roger. And uh, do you want to talk to Approach next? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, here at the Roger. And I uh, just advise runway 1735 is closed. And I just advise we have the weather. Hey, sir, that's how we got the weather. Okay. Okay. We got the visual. Yeah, I mean, clear. <laughs> Unlimited. We could see it. And also, I got it on four flight here. Which, my traffic's working again, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, they pull it, they bring it up and down, I have no idea why. I guess I should stay more over here. Ah, it looks like a better spot than yeah, the trees. Down on 310. Uh, it, how slow the handoffs are is, we're still in the airspace. I mean, it's a... Total contact approach on 125.5. 25.580, we'll see you on the way back. Yeah. Tell them moving over to their southwest. Approach 8 Sierra. Helicopter 178 Sierra Hotel. We're maneuvering to the southwest. We're heading to St. John for a thousand feet. Okay, we're here. It's uh, trans still transiting on tower. What do you say? Okay, thanks. Uh, it says we're on tower. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. You know what? You're right. All right, cursor. Oh, because you flip to the oh other end. Yeah, we're on radio too. Ah, ah, you're a terrible wizzo. Yep. <laughs> so Delta Lima, Roger, and all Delta Lima, 3017. Hold on, let's put tower on this one. Yeah. Remember, you gotta switch the radios. November 8, Sierra Hotel, no? Yes. Uh, helicopter 178, Sierra Hotel, we're with the Luling Bridge, 1,000 feet, we're going to St. John, we're maneuvering. St. John, eh? Okay, number 8, Sierra Hotel, just realized uh, at the uh, St. John Reserve Airport, runway 1735 is closed. St. Hotel, I thought we were going to St. John and then we came on the way back. Whatever you want to do, I was not, yeah. that doesn't matter. Yeah, that's all that, we have we advised. Yeah, we'll go to St. John and then come back. Yeah. Can we just do a pattern over there? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, Sierra Hotel, we'll be doing just a pattern over to St. John, we'll come back. Never number 5476, uniform, no one's approached, and all of that, similar to 3017. Never number 6, Papa Alpha, you said uh, after this uh, VFR... Uh, Turn around speed. Do what after this line? 69 knots. All right, that's close. Okay, that is opposite direction, so uh, it's not, we're not sure that you're going to be able yep. to get that, uh, so don't plan on it until you get airborne off the flight L and we just have to play it by ear. 
Any traffic, please advise. Yeah. So what do we want to, like, just go to the taxiway? Yeah, I just want to taxiway past everything. I might even hover down the taxiway towards the end. After that, we're good. We're completing our apartment. Hey, uh, traffic, only after 178 here. Uh, no, right base for the taxiway, just low approach. Stay tough. Now, maybe advise as they can do it. That wasn't us. Got to slow down a lot with this wind. No. Just keep up your speed. The wind's going to slow you down. That's what I'm saying. I soloed an airplane out of this place. Did you really? Yep. Now look, there's a plane taxi. See a plane taxi? Where? Right there. On the oh, ramp. on the ramp. Yeah. Where he's going. I don't know. Probably just repositioning. Keep up your speed on this thing. That dude's P hangers out here is a nice airport. Hey, a little late. Uh, I made it rather up to the front door. Done the same way because he hated New Orleans so much with the, 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 the government 
been a kind of corruption back in the 1920s and 30s. He built the bridge across the lake all the way in Harahan so they could see it and it would be no good to use it. Wow, what is this? That's UNO's uh, Lakefront Arena. What? Yep. UNO's campus, uh, Lakefront Arena, the baseball stadium, and uh, campus is right behind us also. FBI building, right there, the brown one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote about that one. Oh, that, book. that's Sudo. That's Southern University of New Orleans. Wow. Historic Black College. <laughs> All right, so look we're at that field they, they built. That's Major League Park right there. That's a entire turf field. Auto, auto baseball? Fish turf. Yep, auto fish turf. Holy crap. And you and those baseball. I used to, I did a lot of games down there. I don't see the dude depart, but we're going to transition south. What is it, zero, 030? Zero? Yeah. I'm going to. We just got to go past it, and then we can go right up Delta. Yeah. Whatever works. All right, pick your landing spot. Uh, you literally can go to the actual landing spot if you want. Okay. So adjust your pattern for that. Now look where you're at right now. You're looking good. And I think you hold it right here. Tie a string onto your spot and see if we can slide down. <laughs> Let's just say like an ILS. Challenge accepted. Okay, you want me to do this for you or what? <laughs> oh, you're using green diamonds now. No, uh, the T-38 has none of that. Got to adjust for the wind. Why don't you slow us down in the hair? There you go. Hold it right there and see what happens. Right about there. Try not to milk it. Like hold it together. There you go. I pick back a little bit. Go right to the non moving area. That's better. Very steep approach, but we got a lot of wind, so it's not a big deal. Look at your 250 knots. All right, slow us down a little bit more. Push forward a little bit. There you go. Yeah, go right to the yellow line. Then we'll go up and make a turn. Um, Houston 3 Charlie Mike, contact on the Sparks safe flight. 3 Charlie Mike, thank you. Yeah, you're going to be in translip all the way down. Look forward now. Don't look down, look forward. Go right into the concrete. Right about here. Yeah, I'm going to do a pedal turn. I'll be on with you. Just relax. Get that left in quick. Left, 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 left. Yeah. That's don't dance. Don't dance. Yes. Right about. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Good mess with you. Oh my god. Roll it off, slide your hand back and uh, lock us in. Okay. Alright, put it on. Someone will tell me we're Roger clear to the Golf Echo Niner Niner Airport via radar vectors to the Green County Vortex. That's Golf Charlie Victor. Do we want to turn it? Montgomery. We could visit the turn. Okay. All right, so that is 7.8 hours in the book. Um, kind of change of plans. We were going to do pattern stuff, but uh, I think he decided that the wind was a little bit too much to be doing patterns. Uh, it was very gusty uh, all the way up to 23 knots. So uh, we got some of the cross-country requirements out. We went uh, out to St. John, which is a field outside of New Orleans there. Did an approach and then came back, and it was just windy. I mean, really gusty winds, really... Uh, um, really uh, hard so came came back in approach I mean I'm still struggling with just approach angles and kind of knowing what is gonna be right and if I'm gonna be short or if I'm gonna be long or steep or whatever especially with the wind so got to work on that and then the end game those buildings just freak me out I mean those, those buildings just completely freak me out so um, you know obviously that did not go very well trying to turn it with wind and the gust and obviously it's accelerating through the the two hangers so that was kind of crappy but uh, the other thing we talked about I was wrong in my thinking on two stage pull up and what I was doing was kind of trying to get off the ground because whereas when we land you want to get the weight on the skid get the power down taking off you want to give it a second to figure out what your corrections are and then take off and what I was doing was trying to get off the skids immediately which is why I'm struggling on just the initial takeoff 
but not hovering. So uh, we talked through that. He showed me some things in the helicopter, which I should have filmed. I just didn't grab the camera because we were just talking about it. Um, next time we go out, it'll be some more patterns. We're gonna take. I'm gonna take a couple days off just to unwind and study a bit, and then we're gonna hit hit it back next week. Go back to just doing patterns, auto rotations. Got some more cross country requirements we got to knock out, and then uh, probably in about a week or so, I'll be able to do my first solo. So really excited, and uh, hopefully continue progressing. The weather keeps cooperating like it's been doing. It would be nice if the wind kind of died down though, because that gusty stuff and doing pedal turns, holy crap, that sucks. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.